Hi there. So, at this moment, there are all kinds of things that are happening on this planet. A lot of hostility, a lot of injustice, and but what is going on in the slaughterhouses, what is going on in these, uh, these animal farms is extremely hellish for these creatures. They need to have a family just like we do because of our taste, just for taste, we are causing them, we're stripping them from their families, we're stripping them from their freedom to choose, and that is of course to live, and we are causing them to be in very unfair situations, very unclean situations. So in this world, um, if when it comes to mankind, if there is someone slaps another person, or a man slaps a woman, or these kind of injustice, there's penalties attached. Right? When there's abuse on the human level, there's penalties attached. But what about the animals? Because of our tongue, we are already putting them into a category where they can be exploited. They should, and that is not fair. Justice is given from the perspective of the victim. And in this case, the victims are those animals. So we have to put ourselves in their shoes and ask ourselves, what is happening to me and what do I want? We want to be free, therefore they want to be free as well. None of these creatures, these loving, sentient beings, want to be in these horrible conditions that we put them in. We must stand for them. The slaughterhouses, the animal farms, locked up in caging, scream, screaming for their lives. Many times also the kind of practices that how they're killed. There's no such thing as humane killing. We brand that, we, we create those words as human beings to protect our tastes, to back up, to represent taste and habits and culture. But these words are from the perspective of the victim, from the perfect, from the perspective of the victim, very unfair, very inhumane. Therefore, let's give it in favor of the victim. Let's represent especially, there's so much things to represent these days. We have to represent people from Ukraine because of the war. We have to represent our children, of course. We have to represent so many things, but we cannot forget those people, uh, those sentient beings, who are actually people, we call them animals, but they're people in their own right. We kind of forget the horrible conditions that they're in, the prison houses, the gallows that they're in.